How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here and this is my very first deck profile video because I completed my very first deck for the very first time. Very first. First time. Yep, let's see how many times I can use the word first in here. No, um, seriously guys, I'm really happy to make this deck. It's more of a deck for my girlfriend rather than for me just because she bought me a full art Mega Gardevoir and I love that card to death. So I wanted to actually get into TCG and battling so that way I can learn a bit. Then I watched a few YouTube videos and tried to find out how to make a, make a Gardevoir deck. And apparently it's pretty simple. You just need quite a bit of cards. Um, this is not for standard right now. I believe it is expanded. However, first off, I want to show you guys my little Gardevoir coin that I had for who knows how long. Um, I have it in a sleeve so that way it doesn't get lost because it's gotten lost before. But that's just going to be my official coin for this deck. Um, this is a deck box that I custom made. It has fairy energy right here. It's a bit pink if you guys can see that. And then on this side as well. And then I drew a Mega Gardevoir on the back. I'm pretty proud of it, you know. Um, just wanted to customize it to make it my own. So let's get into the profile itself. Um, the first cards I'm going to be showing you are the EXs, of course, because those are like the main cards that you want to use. So we're running a three line of Gardevoir EX. So let me show you this. Shining Wind. Um, the attacks really don't do a lot. Heal damage, heal Pokemon damage, um, so you get 20 HP back. Shining Wind is the best move that you can use. Um, it's 100 damage and you also, um, what was it again? You have no weakness, so if you're going against a Mega Aggron deck, you're not going to get one shot by everything. So, next we're going to be running a two line of Mega Gardevoir. Now, I don't have the full art one because I don't want to get it damaged from play. However, here's the move itself. This attack does 30 damage times the amount of fairy energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So every single last Pokemon on the bench, that's 30 times how much fairy energy you have. And this deck, spoiler alert, is running 13. So if you get all 13 energy on there, you're one-shotting everything. So I really like that. Next we have the main attacker of this, because Gardevoir requires some setup. Um, Florges EX is much easier to use. You just have to go use that Brilliant Garden and 20 damage times the number of Fairy and Grass Pokemon you have in play. So that means you would have at max 6, so that way you have that. Um, does a lot, 120 damage just for 2 energies. So that's pretty good. Um, next we're going to be running a three line of Xerneas, the Geomancy one. So that comes from XY base. The Geomancy is the move that you're going to use. Choose two of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search for a fairy energy and attach it to that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So that gets all your fairy energies out onto the field. So that way your attack does get skyrocketed pretty quickly. If you can get all the fairy energies you have onto the field, then basically Mega Gardevoir, all you need to do is just play her and sweep with that. Um, next, worry, next we have three Spritzies. Um, Spritzy, we're not going to really have... I got one right here. Uh, the Fickle Attack one isn't as good as the Sweet Scent just because Sweet Scent you can heal damage from your Pokemon if you want. So I prefer to use the Sweet Scent one however I don't have that many so I have the one with the Fickle Attack which really doesn't do a lot. So they're just there so that way we can bring in the next Pokemon on here. We're running a 3-3 line of Spritzies and Aromatisses. Aromatisse, it's a hollow or reverse hollow or a regular card if you get the the garden deck. I don't remember. It's the Xerneas exclusive one. So for this, what you're going to want to do, you're not even going to want to use the move too much. You're going to want to have the ability get activated as often as you like during your turn. You can switch your fairy energies to another Pokemon. So you can go switch if you have 13 fairy energies on your Xerneas, then you can switch it all to your Mega Gardevoir so that way it can actually attack. 
Now this comes in handy with the potion, the max potions I'm running in this deck. So this deck is not standard. It's going to be expanded. If I'm correct, I don't know if I'm saying everything correctly. Um, next we have N, the supporter. So what that does is, let me read this. Each player shuffles his or her own hand into his deck. Then each player draws the cards equal to how many prize cards they have remaining. So if you're losing and you need some draw support, then it disrupts everyone. If your opponent has only one prize card left, they can only draw one card. Um, if you have all six of yours left, you can draw six cards. It helps out a lot if you're running low on cards. Next we have a Colrus. Yeah, um, Colrus. I have it in reverse. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw the number of cards equal to the cards on your bench. Both you and your opponents. So, really good card. Um, you can draw a lot of Pokemon at Mox at max. You can draw ten, which a lot of people do end up putting all their bench Pokemon on the bench ASAP. Next, we have a four line of Pokemon Fan Club and just one Colrus and one and four ends. Didn't know if I made that obvious, but um, for this card. Search your hand for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and then put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Um, great support card, so that way during the beginning of the game, you can get all your basic Pokemon out. All your EXs you can get out. You can get your Spritzies for your Aromatises. Next we have um, what I would consider four. However, it's technically two Junipers and two Sycamores. It really doesn't make a difference. They both do the same thing. Discard your hand and then draw seven cards. That's all you have to do. Just draw support. So if you have some card that you don't need, if you don't need any more Pokemon fan clubs, then discard your and just discard that if that's the only thing in your hand and just play off from there. Next we have Lysanders. We're running two of those in this deck. Search your Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Um, that's just so that way if you're running against something like a Seismitoad, you can actually get that away. So that way you can heal yourself up and do all that stuff that you need to do. Next we're running one teammates. Um, you can play this Pokemon if your Pokemon ha if any of your Pokemon has been knocked out the last turn. Then search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. So if you're if you just got attacking loss of Pokemon last turn, then you can use that card. Um, I gotta run really quickly, so let's get through this because I only have three minutes of film left. We are running four Fairy Gardens, and what Fairy Garden does is it allows you to have a free retreat cross cost for any Pokemon with a Fairy Energy attached. Since we're running two Mega Gardevoirs, we have two Gardevoir Spirit Links. And that just allows you to not it allows you to negate the effect of you have to cancel your turn. We're running two Ultra Balls, and that way we can go get more Pokemon, and that way we can get our draw support in the beginning. We're running three Max Potions, just so that way what it does is you use um, Aromatisse's transfer, and what that does is it takes all the Fairy Energies off of your Mega Gardevoir, that the one that you want to heal up. You use this, you get it, all your HP back for free, and then you can go use Fairy Transfer again to get all of your energy back. Next we have one, two VS Seekers, and then it's just to get a supporter from your discard pile and put it into your hand. So you can use a lot of your ends if you need to. Um, next we have one Energy Recycler, so we can shuffle five basic energies from our discard pile into our deck. That's just in case you lose a lot of energy because if you lose your energies you kind of lose the game. Evo Soda that allows you to evolve your Pokemon. Search for your Pokemon that allows you to get your Aromatises. Sorry my camera just died right there. Um, it, it ran out of space. But if you guys want to see more deck profiles or deck profiles of any Pokemon, for example the new ones, the Mega Sceptile, I actually have an idea for that. Please let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time with more Pokemon content. And until then, YouTube, goodbye.